Hi guys, Tracy here. I'm going to be scrapbooking this picture of my two daughters standing on the frame of the treehouse that we've been building them. I'm just using the citrus, the citrus twist kit um, for, I think this is the April uh, kit. And I just showed you some of the embellishments that I was wanting to use, and I'm going to show you the papers. Um, this yellow wood grain is really standing out as something that I want to use for a background. It is by uh, Sweet Girl by Echo Park. And then the sea foam that I have in my hand from the Studio Calico Sundrifter collection is also standing out. I like that Dear Lizzie paper with the chevrons and also that crepe paper, paper with the wood grain. I think that's great paper. I didn't end up using that, but I'm just picking out some of the photo, some of the papers that I think will go with that photo. So because it's a wooden tree house, I thought that the wood grain in the yellow and also the wood planks would look kind of good. I didn't end up using the wood planks, but I'm going to use the yellow wood grain as my background. Again, that's from the Sweet Girl collection from Echo Park. And um, I'm going to uh, think about using this Dear Lizzie paper but I'm actually it's not actually going to make it to my layout. This layout is mostly embellishments. It doesn't have a whole lot of papers. You'll see I'll put two layers of paper on here but the rest will be all embellishments. So um, here I just took a uh, little envelope from my stash. I can't even remember where I got that envelope. It's a um, grid type of I don't know what it, what it, even what it's for, um, but I have one of them. So maybe somebody gave it to me in a rack. Anyways, I like the texture that it provides because it is folded over on, on the bottom, so it kind of pops stuff up off the page a little bit. I wanted to use two of these frames, and I wanted them to both be off-center from, uh, from the photo. So I'm just going to trim off the manufacturer strip now that I know that that's the background paper I want to use. This is my ingredients list and I just use this. It makes my narration a lot easier and uh, if I ever go back to posting on my blog it makes it easier for me to remember what I use and if I ever submit something to a magazine or something. Um, so I just write down what kit I'm using and then what papers and supplies I'm using. So um, I've cut two pieces of pattern paper, one from that seafoam paper from the Sundrifter collection, and then I also have a piece of pink that's almost the same size, and it is from the My Mind's Eye, I think it's called Collectibles collection. These are every, almost every single thing on this layout is from the Citrus Twist Kit, except for that uh, grid paper envelope, which came from my stash. So I'm just putting both of those frames a little bit off center. The first frame has some embellishment on it. It has some sewing and a little tag that says something. I don't have it with me, sweetheart. So I stapled them both in place just so that they wouldn't, I didn't want to glue them down because they're over so many layers. I didn't want them to have to stick, I didn't want to commit to sticking them to anything. So I decided to use a piece of that gray washi tape, which is also for my stash that came in a Studio Calico kit a while ago. Um, and so, yeah, so there's a few things that aren't from my, that aren't from the kit. These clips are from Basic Gray and they came in the Citrus Twist kit. And I just wanted to add one of these. And then there are a couple of these little handmade embellishments. They're kind of layered with stitching and die cuts or punches. And they're really, really cute. So at this point, I have all three on the layout, but I'm only going to end up using one of them. These are uh, Maggie Holmes Ephemera from Crepe Paper. And uh, you get a ton in the package. And so I'm just having a look through them all, um, looking for some things that will layer in the top. I'm going to put my journaling up in the top corner, and then I'm going to put something smaller in the bottom corner. And that will become my three clusters. And so I really like that uh, that bow tie, but um, it, it's kind of like just a bow that's tied. It's not a bow tie. Um, I like how it looks underneath of something. So I put that under the layered embellishment from Citrus Twist. Then I grabbed that butterfly from the Maggie Holmes collection, um, and I'm going to put some flare badges. The flare badges. Sorry, I'm a bit out of out of uh, frame there. The flare badges are from the Dear Lizzie collection. Uh, it is the Lucky Charm collection that those are from. And then a little pocket of embellishment sequins and stars, wood, wood veneer stars, came in the kit as well. Now I'm thinking about how I'm going to use that stamp. I love the arrow in the Citrus Twist st stamp set this month, and I think it's my new favorite arrow stamp, so I will be using that a lot because it's, it's the perfect size. 
So I'm just having a look at these are the stickers that came with the Citrus Twist embellishment kit and they are by um, they're from Webster's Pages. They're the uh, color and composition from Alison Kreft. So I'm just putting some pop dots on the wings of my butterfly. I am going to outline him. I forgot to at this point. He blends in too much with the other label that's there. So I am going to uh, outline him in a second. There we go. I'm just outlining him carefully because he's already attached so I don't want to go off the edges. Added that flare badge to the middle of the butterfly and now I'm going to come back and do my top cluster and I realized that I needed something blue up there because it was something blue in the other two clusters. So I was going to do the bow and then I thought that's too many bows for one layout for me so I uh, went with that blue tag instead. It's like a little stamp I think. I'm going to do my journaling. I wasn't sure what I was going to write here until I started writing. Um, it just talks about how the kids were helping out with the treehouse. Uh, topped it off with another piece of Dear Lizzie Flair at the top there. And now I'm going to stamp some of my favorite arrow, my new favorite arrow um, above and below the washi tape. And I want to do some more stamping. I'm going to put some more arrows all over the place. <laughs> one in the top. So basically there's some arrows in all three of those clusters. And now I knew I had a couple of stamp sets that had an adventure type of wording on it. So one of them is by Kelly Perky. That's the one I'm doing first. It says adventure awaits. And uh, so I'm taking out a couple of different pink inks um, and I end up going with regal red, which is, it's not inky enough so I had to stamp it twice which ends up making it not all that clear but that's okay you can still see that it says adventure awaits it's just not as clear as I'd like the other one is a studio calico stamp from one of their kits and it just says let the adventure begin with stars on either side of it and it's a narrow one so or it's a long thin one so um, I'm trying to use more stamps on my layout so um, getting as much mileage as I can. I'm just uh, gluing down some of those embellishments. I decided that the bow needed a bit more definition, so I'm going to outline it just so it stands out from its background a little bit more. Then I'm just kind of lifting the layers of that layered embellishment, which is it came in the in the Citrus Twist kit. And uh, now I'm going to use these letter stickers also from the Color and Composition collection from Webster's Pages. It also came in the kit. Everything came in the kit except for the washi tape and the envelope and some of the stamps. So the title for this one is going to be A Beautiful Day to Build a Tree Fort. And these smaller letter stickers also came in the same kit and in the same sheet of stickers. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the word ah, so I just skipped it for now and I thought I'll add it in somewhere <laughs> later. Um, and these are foam letter stickers. They're from, they're called Charm. They're thickers and uh, they're from a Dear Lizzie collection. I don't know which one they're from, but they're, they kind of look like a craft color. So I thought it was nice to use a, firstly, I, I was kind of challenging myself to use all items from one kit or as many items from one kit as possible. So I really wanted to make the thickers that came in the kit work. And I think also I might have picked them anyways because it's, I didn't necessarily want to introduce another color to this title. So I am just trying to get those letters straight. I overlapped the to build letter stickers because they wouldn't have fit in the space if I had them all kind of stretched out side by side and they overlap quite nicely and uh, yeah so my uh, my title is a, a little bit crooked there I will kind of go back and fix different parts of it but bit by bit until the layout is complete it's still not a hundred percent straight but it's good enough it looks straightish <laughs> Now I'm going to do some splattering and this I meant to go really easy on the splattering. I only wanted a tiny bit. I wanted this layout to have a real clean look to it but you'll see that I ended up splattering is a little bit addictive and I had a difficult time just 
cutting it quits <laughs> with the splatter. I may, uh, my plan was to kind of leave it at the white and then I added the pink and Heidi Swap splatters really splatter generously. The pink is a Heidi Swap color shine and um, so once I added the pink it became clear that I was just gonna do a lot of splattering and then it didn't splatter even so I had to go back and add some more. <laughs> it just became a bit of a monster. I do like how it looks, it just wasn't in line with my original plan, which was to make it be a bit more clear, clean and clean and crisp. Um, so anyways, I'm going to add a couple of sequins. These are sequins I bought from an Etsy store. I don't know which one. Um, they sell like twine and stuff. It's just a little Etsy store. I had never heard of it before, but they were good. I bought them a long time ago, so I don't remember the name of it. I'm also adding some uh, wood veneer stars. I love to add wood veneer stars to the sprinkles and I almost always leave them plain just because I love wood so much. So I think I'm done here. I'm going to uh, just glue all of these down. It's just going to take me a second. I just use glossy accents and you just need a teensy weensy little bit. I find if you put too much it oozes out and then you can see the kind of the glossy part coming around the uh, embellishments. So now I just had to trim up one of those wood veneer stars it was hanging off the page so I had to trim that up a little bit and uh, yeah I think I'm thinking about how oh yes so I added the a uh, tree fort the a for a uh, um, in a different in the uh, yellow font and I'm gonna go back and change that I had to add the date stamp I'm trying to remember to date all of my layouts so um, I'm gonna show you this just up close for a minute and then I, I'm going to go back and change the ah. Uh. So there's the top cluster and I really love that basic gray love tag or paper clip or whatever it's called. It's really cute. And there's the title. I am going to switch out the ah uh for a tree fort. You get to see my stamping there. It's clear on one side and not on the other and uh, so there I go changing the title and I'm going to show it again and again. <laughs> I couldn't remember what I had already shown you so I just went back and showed you a few more things. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching guys. Here are some pictures and you'll notice that I put the stitching on the A Beautiful Day letters. They were kind of peeling up a little bit and plus I really like the texture and detail and the extra detail that it adds. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you all have a good scrappy week.